Kevin is taking stage here for the animation of an arm move, an ear stretch, and a snapback. I'm using a Canon XL2 for the camera and iStop Motion software to capture uh, the frames. Um, the arm is already moving in progress here, so I'm not doing an ease in. It's kind of going at its, uh, uh, its top speed at the beginning. And the body is doing a slight tilt. I'm using the onion skinning uh, in iStop Motion to watch the rate, kind of using the, um, the tip of the, uh, of the horns to, see, to make sure that each frame he moves the same amount. And it's kind of the same with the arm. The arm actually is accelerating because uh, both movement, the rate of movement and the movement through the frame should always have an arc to it. So the uh, onion skinning is showing me the direction of the arm as it goes along, which in this case is coming out a little bit before it comes back to the ear. You can see that it's, uh, it's arcing out and uh, accelerating a bit. And also at this stage I'm starting a uh, um, uh, facial uh, change, which is just the, uh, the brows coming down a little bit kind of tightening as he's about to tighten his grip on his uh, on his ear and a few frames later I have the uh, the mouth moving which is just kind of getting more of a sneer on the left side so I'm pulling in the lips on the right side making the mouth open up a little bit and uh, come in a little tighter so it's the left side that's tightening up and I also have a blink in progress which is one frame of a half lid followed by one frame of the shut lid. Doing this pretty much in ones. Seems like that just everything looks, this, this kind of movement looks better in ones. When I really have something that I want to be moving slowly uh, and smoothly and, or, and not much, then I go into twos, like a body movement that's just sort of a moving hold will be in twos, but certainly arm movement and uh, facial movements, brows in the mouth, and uh, certainly the blinks, all in ones. And then after the full eye, there is uh, goes to the half eye, and then a sort of an ease out on a blink. I like to have just a little bit of a slit of of lid there. And here is sort of in slow motion to see how each frame goes as his hand gets closer, and then as I'm going and I stop motion. I can play it back and see what the progress is. This early on, you know, it goes so fast that you can't really get a feel for how smooth it is and how how well timed it is. It usually takes about uh, 20 frames of animation to see. Then I'm shooting it, uh, doing this with uh, 24 frames per second. So he gets a grip on the hand. I ease it out. The motion slows down and. There's a follow through before the pull starts. And here's where the, the pull starts. So um, I'm able to kind of work with it a bit because I can always look back at the screen to see how things are going and to make sure that the uh, stretch follows a consistent path so that it doesn't shatter as it gets pulled out. I'm easing in. The first move is small and then they get bigger and bigger at the um, certainly the midway point gets to the full speed and then it eases out as it reaches its full extension. He kind of pulls the ear up first as an anticipation and then starts the stretch. And I'm just working with the clay that's there rather than adding any. And at this point it's starting to ease out because it's reaching its maximum point and it's also getting a little heavy and sagging in the middle so I'm sticking a little piece of uh, aluminum wire along the back to keep it up. So the moves got really small there at the end and then he releases and this is a quick snappy move. So I have one move, one frame where it's moved, I think, I think it's about half an inch. The ear starts moving back half an inch and then it really picks up and kind of since it's supposed to be a really quick snap it uh, goes back to its original size in about three frames. And this, of course, is a jolt to the body, so I'm animating a blink, an offset blink. 
and with the uh, the ear hitting the body, it snaps in. And then uh, you can see how that uh, how that went. He holds it for a moment, so you can see the extension, and then lets it go. And then the ear is um, waving back, so that in other words, the uh, the middle of the ear starts back towards its original position before the tip. The tip is uh, following through, so it's sort of like a uh, it's a wave. And all the while, there's been some uh, animation on the face, just trying to keep it consistent, where he, uh, he reacts to um, what's going on with the ear, coming out of the blink here. It started offset, but then I uh, kind of had the, uh, the blink kind of catch up with itself, so it wouldn't like he's, look like he's drunk. Usually a fully offset blink will look a little like somebody's disoriented. So after the fast move, want to uh, ease it out. And here's the final animation again.